How's it going? Uh, real quick video, I want to show you what I did to fix my uh, Asus Sonic Suite plugin from crashing my real tech panel. Um, if you bought a Asus uh, ROG, Z one of the Z170 boards that comes with the Supreme Effects, uh, mine for instance was the Maximus Hero Alpha. I know I've seen some cases of some Broadwell um, set ones doing that as well. Um, the issue is, uh, when you go into your Realtek audio panel here, um, you've got this Sonic Studio, and advertised on Asus uh, website, it looks like this, uh, and it's just kind of like a package that um, has some little goofy plugins for uh, stabilizing your audio input, like if you're using a headset, or um, it upmixes to like a fake surround sound, just kind of like... Uh, little add-on extra stuff that ROG adds in to make their product a little more valuable than like the bottom line stuff. Honestly, it's totally useless. Your audio will still work without this stuff, but you did pay for it, so what the heck, let's try to get it working. Um, so initially, when you open up this Realtek panel and click on s the Sonic Studio user interface, um, if you have the same problem as me, what it was doing was it would either just time out and not do anything, or it would even, when I would click on it, it would crash my whole Realtek audio plugin or input panel or whatever, so um, I couldn't even you know get that back up until I restarted my computer, which was a pain in the ass. Um, and it would show the Sonic Suite icon here in the system tray, but it wasn't, uh, it wouldn't do anything when I right clicked on it, or it wouldn't when I'd click on it, it would just crash, like I said. So um, I think the problem was when a lot of people build computers nowadays they don't put the cd drive in it they don't use the disc that comes with their motherboard usually a lot of people make the joke it's just a free coaster um, and that's kind of what i did i just downloaded the newest drivers anyways because i knew i wanted the most up-to-date ones with bug fixes and patches or whatever so i went to asus website their products support downloaded the driver downloaded the drivers and uh yeah and that was it and this is what i ended up with so um for whatever reason, I thought, well, what the heck, I'll try to, you know, rip off the ones from the CD. So I went to a different computer, and I grabbed a USB stick, and I will show you where on the folder those are. You go into your, when you put your disk in the drive, it'll be like down here by your hard drives and stuff. This is what you're going to see when you open up that Asus disk. Obviously, you're going to want to go to Drivers, Audio, and then inside the Realtek folder, inside Drivers, uh, it's the Sonic Suite and the Sonic Radar. I don't think Sonic Radar is necessary. Um, what that is is a little suite of plugins that you can run inside of a game engine. So like if you're inside Skyrim, or for example, what this does is it kind of like analyzes the environment, at least that's what it says it does, so that it kind of helps It helps this uh, the fake surround sound crap, which is totally useless. But... Um, Sonic Suite is the culprit. We're going to take this disk. You don't need this little bash script. Um, it's not bash. What am I talking about? The shell script. Sorry, thinking about Linux. Um, yeah, you take this and you just put it on your, your USB stick. Um, or you can obviously just email it to yourself, whatever you want to do. I think it's only... Yeah, it's like 47 megabytes. So, um, yeah, what you want to do, obviously, first, though, is take your old drivers off. You always want to do that when you're, uh, why did I type driver? You always want to do that when you're changing your drivers. Get rid of the old shit. So, this is what you're going to want to take out. Sonic Suite plugins. You're going to want to uninstall that. When you click change, it's going to pop up with this. This is kind of stupid. Normally when you have an installation window like this, you check mark the things that you want and you uncheck the stuff you don't want. If you want to uninstall these drivers, you have to uncheck the boxes. Now you see now uninstall stopped being grayed out. See, you can't do anything. So you got to uncheck those. I think that's kind of backwards logic, but whatever. Now you know. I would say click delete preferences just for good measure. Uh, I'm not going to do it though, I'll, you know what to do. So you just click on install, restart your machine obviously. You might want to uninstall the Realtek drivers too. I don't think that will make a difference, but if you find that you did what I told you to do and it didn't help, you tried starting over from the beginning and doing that too.
So that's the other one, Realtek High Definition Audio Driver. Uh, once you have both of those uninstalled, go back to your USB stick, click the install package for the driver, and then when you go to Realtek, your Sonic Studio tab, and click on this, this is the window that you should get. And yeah, it's just like like I said, surround up mix, bass boost, uh, voice clarity, which is really like stupid. That's not a real thing. If you know anything about audio voice clarity, you can't just fix that with a, a knob. Um, but like I said, you paid for it. It's a feature that you should get, so why not fix it? Um, one thing I did think was kind of interesting was this perfect voice setting. Uh, what that does is it adds like a noise gate, so it's kind of like, uh, you know how when you uh, have push to talk off, it ha and when you have like, if you're in a voice chat thing and it automatically detects when you're talking, that uses a noise gate. So basically, it has a set, and anything that's below that level, it'll automatically chop off. So like background noise or fuzz or whatever. This is one of the m most useful things inside of the Sonic Studio package, but now we're just getting into preference stuff, so I'm not going to talk about this, but... Um, yeah, hopefully that works. I'm going to put the drivers in the description. Um, if you had, uh, I think I would just, if you only, only if you have a Skylake motherboard would I do this because I don't think they would have the same audio package installed on all their motherboards from the past couple of years. But um, I think I saw people that had the Maximus, what is it called, the Ranger. And certainly people with the regular Hero, um, you could probably use the drivers that I'm putting up there, um, but mine are from the Maximus Hero Alpha, so just to be, to, to be sure. Uh, well, that's it. Uh, let me know in the comments if this helps you at all, and good luck.